I finally got a chance to look at the video of the man who was seen on the dance floor with the woman who was so obviously incapacitated. I always say let's not jump to conclusions. Let's wait until we have at least a preponderance of evidence in order for us to make an accurate accusation or cast one that be or at least a monochrome of information that allows for us to think intelligently and not emotionally. I think that that amount of information has been disseminated. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So a couple of days ago, I heard about the Atlanta woman that was uh, allegedly, allegedly raped on a dance floor. And upon hearing this, I told people I need a little bit more information. And the reason why I said this was because of the video that I saw, somebody put like a smiley face on the video. Why would you do that? Why would you blot out a part of the video that is necessary in order for somebody to be able to even see the content? That's like, I don't know, um, playing the music, right? But while you're playing music for somebody to listen to and critique, you also put noise canceling headphones on them and have a uh, siren blaring in the background. Like, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, so I've gotten the opportunity to see the video, finally. And I am going to say that I believe that this woman was taken advantage of. This is just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I believe that this woman was taken advantage of. They said that they found ketamine in her system. I don't know. Maybe there was... See, okay, so I'm going to tell you what I think happened. I think that the woman went out, broke up with her husband or whoever it was, her husband. They, they got into a big fight. The woman went out. The woman started trying to FaceTime or Facebook Live. Maybe in hopes that her husband will see where she's at, come down there, express his love, come get her, drag up out of there and take her home. I'm just saying. She gets down there for whatever his reasoning is. Maybe he doesn't see the live. Maybe he doesn't care. She goes down there. She's having a good time. Maybe her drink is spiked. There's a good chance of that. After her drink is spiked and she's... um incapacitated and the man has the opportunity to take advantage of her he then carries her off whatever the hell else happens and then maybe then gave her another hit of something to bring her back to consciousness and that's why she went on the dance floor and started twerking in the twerk contest because she had a reservoir of energy that was just released and she hadn't she didn't know what to do with it now, with all that being said, uh, let me just go over a couple of the uh, of, of, of the situation a little. It says, in another shocking incident of sexual assault in the United States, a woman in her 20s was raped at the Opera Nightclub in Atlanta. Also, I want to add, I know people that's been to this nightclub. They said it's kind of congested. It's small. It's not that large. And also at the same time, they say that there's a lot of security in there. Or depending on what night you go, security is visible. The incident, reported on January 19th, was filmed on Facebook Live video recorded through the victim's social media account. The clip was shared on Twitter and YouTube as well, with the combined viewers crossing over 5 million. So there's 5 million people that have seen this video of this guy doing this thing. The Atlanta Police Department issued a statement claiming that it was taking cognizance of the case and launched an inquiry into it. Okay, so right there, what that tells you is 
the woman did not make a report. So now let's say that she was drugged, right? That means that she doesn't really remember the incident. There's a, there's a chance she doesn't really remember the incident. So if this guy is drugging women, taking advantage of them, and then giving them an upper to get them back up and going, this guy needs to be taken off the streets if this is what's happening. The investigation was initiated after it received several calls and emails of people red flagging the video of assault going viral on social media. Singer, Babe, I don't know how to say that next, last name, R-E-X-H-A, condemned the incident and expressed solidarity with the woman who was subjected to the horror. She posted a screen grab of the video in which the alleged rapist can be seen. Now, another thing I want to say, I heard audio of him speaking. He said he was going down to give DNA. Now, this is what I'm going to say about that. Just because even if no DNA is found, that does not mean that she was not raped. I, I think that people don't understand. There are freaking lunatics out there that will put on a condom. And be ready to rape. And then when the opportunity opposes itself, proposes itself, pardon me, they will take advantage of it. She was crying and saying, help me. And no, repeatedly. Out of respect, I will not share the video. But here's a picture of the man that raped her. And they got the guy. They got his whole entire face. He has been exposed. Um, this guy says that he has, uh, custody of one of his children, um, in the interview that I heard, I think that, uh, this case needs to be taken extremely seriously and his home needs to be looked into as it's just, this is just my opinion. The preliminary inquiry of the Atlanta police has found that the victim was drugged before being raped. The accused identified in the video clip was seen dancing with her before committing the sexual assault. Based on the biography, biographic, biography details shared by a victim on her Facebook page, she has been identified as a native of East St. Louis, Illinois, that now lives in Atlanta. Following the incident, she uploaded a series of Facebook page posts asking her friends, well wishes, and media personnel not to approach her for the next few days, and what is... I would assume understandable if somebody has just went through a traumatic situation to allow them some period of grief. Now they got a picture of this dude, right? And this is just me, just me speaking. I think that they should do a full cause he could have had a condom on. I, I like this kills me when people say, Oh, I'll go give DNA could have had a condom on did she go straight to get a rape kit the one thing that might get him is the fact that they say that he licked his fingers and then stuck them in her yep that's what i heard so hopefully they could get this guy hopefully they'll investigate the situation thoroughly let's say that from what i see i believe that she was raped i believe her 100 percent I believe the people who saw the incident 100%. There's a a, 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 a a moment where she's bent over and it looks like he goes down like on one of his knees. And it looks like he's humping on her. And it looks like he's going down to be able to get position in order to insert his penis. That's what it looks like. Ladies. Please don't go to the clubs alone. Ladies, please, when you go to the clubs, have friends with you that are y'all watching each other's back. I'm going to tell you one of the things that I really so truly hate about this culture that we live in. We keep getting told and, and, and that we have to treat everybody like they're the same. We are not the same. We are equal, but we are not the same. 
it could be argued that that women have uh, are more important to our society than men. That that's a valid argument could be made for that. We are equal. We are not the same. When I hear this new toxic movement where it's where we're supposed to treat both genders like they're interchangeable, they're not. The genders are not interchangeable. I'm not saying this out of hate for anyone. I'm really not. I'm saying this out of, please, if people want to teach their young daughters that they could do anything that a male could do, that they're as strong as men, that they have the, 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 the that they could beat a man in a, in a fair fight, that they have the muscles and the strength of a man, let them. Let them. If people want to teach their daughters that they shouldn't have to, that they, that they, that they don't, don't have to think about their safety, let them. Don't teach your daughters these things. Don't teach your daughters that they don't have to be concerned about their safeties. They should. All it takes is one one, one, oh, one. One perverted man. One man that want to take advantage of a woman. It only takes one. That's it. Now, while I don't think that females should walk around scared all the time that everybody's going to jump on them, I do think that it's important for all of us to care about our personal safety and not say, oh, I shouldn't have to care about my personal safety because we're all the same. We still live in a country where black children are being killed and nobody cares. Nobody cares when black children kill each other. Nobody cares when police kill black children. Nobody cares when when other races kill black children, black children, black people. Anybody can kill a black child and get away with it. That's the country we live in. So for people to act like, well, you know, women shouldn't have to do this and women shouldn't have to do that. Well, damn it. Young black men should feel safe walking to the store at 8 o'clock at night. That ain't midnight. It's 8 o'clock at damn night. It's still people coming home from work at that point. Young black men should, should feel safe going to the store in broad daylight. That's not the world that we live in. Don't teach our children and don't teach our daughters that it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.